Bit of a rainy afternoon out here, filming today's STEM Club uh, activity. This is a little curiosity that's a 3D printed object, and you can see there's a top and a bottom of it. And if you look closely, let me get the background just right, that there is no solid connection between the top piece and the bottom. So there are these two solid pieces, these Y-shaped things, which hang down, and there's a single string which suspends in tension between them. And then on the sides here, these are pulling down on the three sides, which add to the tension on that centerpiece. So that this thing, even though there's no solid connection from the top to the bottom, works like a shelf and is pretty stable. You can actually they are flexible if you sort of push it over, you can uh, pop it out of uh, shape. It just goes right back into shape there. And it will, I've got a little box of sand here, let's see if it supports a box of sand. No! Okay. What will it support? I have a phone. There we go, so it supports some weight. So objects have two types of strength, which we describe in engineering as compressive strength and tensile strength. So compressive strength, if you think like a rock, it has a lot of compressive strength. So as you push down and you squeeze it, it compresses and it uh, just, it, it's very solid, very resistant to that. Um, a string set up like this doesn't have much compressive strength. So I compress it, it just flexes, but it does have a lot of tensile strength, so strength in tension. So there are compressive elements here, so when I push down, this is actually squeezed together because it's pushed up there and it's pushed down there, so this little Y piece is kind of squeezed together in compression, and the strings are in tension, making the whole thing stable. This was a principle that Buckminster Fuller described as tensegrity. So there's a big word for you today, a tensile integrity. So there are completely tensile members that are part of the structure and they hold it up. That's all for today. Thanks a lot.